Hi, I'm Zareen Khan. Welcome to my show, Spices and Secrets. With my husband's vibrant personality, he drew in a lot of friends. They were from the film industry, from various dignitaries from the world over, and even royalty. And slowly and steadily, our food got into prominence because all who came to our house, they loved the homemade food. Talking about industry people, we are going to have two live buyers on our show today. Before that, I'm wanting to show you a very special dish that's called Alu Chakna. First, we take the two, the, I have to cut the potatoes into four quarters. My mother-in-law was a very exceptional cook. She believed the simpler the recipe, the better it tastes. Now. I have cut the potatoes, but remember, these are all half-boiled potatoes. So, once I cut them, I put them back into the bowl, respective bowls, and then I take the onions. These are for, I guess, about uh, half a kg potatoes. And now you take the onions, and you start chopping the onions. Onions are very, very healthy and are good for our health, our system. Usually when my mother-in-law used to cook in those days, she was like a grand dame. She used to be sitting aside and making her staff do all this. So hence, even uh, I try to do as much as I can, but I usually allow my uh, staff to do all the cutting and then give it to me. My style at the moment. Now all the onions are finally cut and ready to be put into the pan. And then we've got to pour some oil, then a little sprinkle of jeera, and a little rye. Leave it for a little while till it gets all a little brown. And then we put all the onions into the pan. There. Along with this, you put a little bit of haldi, lal mirchi powder and dhania powder. Just a little sprinkle about this much, a little more of the lal mirchi. Let's say about a spoon and a half and one teaspoon of dhania powder. Now see what happens. The aroma of this will only come if you allow it to brown really well. It must brown very, very nicely so that all of this is mixed and you can literally get the whiff of the masalas. It'll be very good when you just eat it then. If you just let them be raw, then everything is goes flat. That's why cooking takes a lot of love and a lot of patience, which you have to bear with. Now we add into this a little bit of garlic and a little bit of adrak. Ah, that's so good. Now, we add in the tomato puree. And allow it to simmer all of it together nicely. So now we let this simmer on its own. I mix it well and then put this on another stove on slow fire till it cooks in its own juices. And then I take this, a new pan. I put the fire on, add some oil on it to fry the potatoes. You have to have that patience for everything to go just right. Now I put the potatoes in here and I fry these. As I always said that potatoes, everybody loves potatoes. I love them in any case. 
there. It's getting cooked, it's sizzling. Now these potatoes are half fried. And just when they're half fried, what I do is I switch this pan with the tomatoes all ready, the tomato salad is ready. I put this here and I add the potatoes, all of the potatoes into this pan. Now we have almost ready, but of course there's some other ingredients which need to be put, which we will be doing just shortly. And now I take yogurt because we want to make it into a really lovely alu chakna. And I take four teaspoons of the yogurt and put it into this mixture. So the gravy becomes really very, very rich and attractive even to look at. And I mix the same. Wow, look at this color that's coming now. The color is just like a rich khurma. Just see, the, by putting in the dahi, the entire look is changed into a khurma. Fabulous. Now we leave this with a little bit of water for the gravy. Just a little. That's it. And we put it on very slow fire and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Now I'm looking at this and the main ingredient which we need to put in this is the salt. So I take a little bit of salt according to taste and put it to this. Of course, there's something more also to add to make it look really, really nice. See how it's all mixed. The salt is mixed nicely. And the end, the last bit now, is the hari milch, which I have slit into halves lengthways. I put a few of these in, into the dish, along with coriander, cut coriander, which I've also left here. And you just close now, close the lid, and let it simmer with the coriander and the green chilies for another three minutes and you switch off and your dish is done. That was the recipe of the alu chakna. If you missed anything, here's the recap. For alu chakna, in a pan, heat 2-3 to three tablespoon oil, add 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon mustard seeds and let them crackle. Then add 2 diced onions and let it sweat. Now, add half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1.5 teaspoon red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder and mix. Add 1 teaspoon garlic paste, 1 teaspoon ginger paste and sauté it. Once done, Add 300 ml tomato puree and bring it to boil. Add the fried potatoes, 4 tablespoon yogurt, salt to taste, stir well and let it cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Garnish the dish with 4 to 5 whole green chilies, freshly chopped coriander and steam it for 2 minutes. Your delicious aloo chakna is ready to serve. We've started the show with a small treat and it's going to get better and better. So don't go away, and I'll be back after the break with my first guest.